One of the few downsides of being a gamer is the post new game crash. No matter how into a game I may be, I always feel the need to seek out something new and different. If only I were a millionaire, the constant urge to play something new wouldn't be such a problem. I just can't afford to feed my habit at the rate I prefer. That is why I love the gaming community. New games, new mods and new playgroups are always within reach. If only Tantalus had the internet, he may not have suffered. And there really is no conceptual boundary that some aspiring programmer won't cross. Making tea, experiencing the life of a fly, or a psychedelic space romp have all been put into code. Given that my favourite genres are RPGs and Sims, the creator who put out content with RPG makers are a community I follow. I know I could program games for myself to play, but it's like running your fingers down your side to test if you're ticklish. It's always a letdown, but as soon as someone else comes along and does the exact same thing, you wind up begging for mercy. A few weeks ago, I was in a particular doldrums and strayed a bit farther from my usual download sites than usual. After a while, I found a forum post linking to a game simply called Milgram's Bunny. The post said it was made with RPG makers and was designed to test your ability to manage a rabbit farm. I wouldn't be surprised if you had an idea where I got it. It's from one of the places of the internet where only the brave dare go. Installation was a breeze and the controls seemed intuitive enough, which was good given that the only on-screen prompts were reward the good bunnies and punish the bad ones. Don't let a bunny die or you lose. The play screen was compromised of about half a dozen cages each with its own bunny sprite. With the right buttons, I could reward them with food, water and clean straw. I could even give them a rabbit treat, which appeared to be some kind of special food item. I could use a demand button to ask a specific bunny to perform a single task, such as be petted, do a trick, or dance a rabbit jig. I have to admit, it was an addictive game. I spent a lot of the first few days trying to learn how to maximise the happiness of my farm's inhabitants. If I wasn't at work, I was in the game. The sheer number of options of commands left me dumbstruck. There was a Scribblenauts-esque system allowing for hours of experimentation. Maybe I let the power go to my head a bit, but... What good is being a god if you can't throw a few lightning bolts, eh? I can't be the only person to remove a swinging pool ladder or two. My favourite rabbit, Jasper, danced on command for me for over an hour. Morris's cage might have been slightly on the damp side when I gave him a few extra helpings of water. Jenny literally ran in circles whenever I felt like it. Once just for the hell of it. I asked one of them to eat its own poo. Shrugging, it was its only response. I asked again. A vehement no motion with its head was the only response. I asked again, but met with further resistance. Remembering the unused punish icon, I gave the bunny a slight taste of what to expect should he keep resisting. The animated jolt struck with Looney Tune-esque flair. For a second, just long enough to make me nervous that the game might have froze, it did nothing on screen. Then, with a start, he obeyed my command. I wish I could say my newly discovered ability went underutilized. I guess my gaming wanderlust was beginning to set in again. Besides, it was just time efficient to terrorise them into doing what I wanted. 
I didn't have to wait for a sleeping bunny to wake up naturally. So I had a lot more to manage in the game at any given time. Also, I never had to deal with a back-talking bunny again. At least, not until Morris began to bite me every time I wanted to pet him. No number of special treats could coax him into good behaviour. Surely, an argumentative to a fault, my patience had reached its limit with him. I hit the punish button and watched the animation. He bit me again. I replied in kind only to have him continue his defiance. I started experimenting with the setting on the punishment button and found I could turn the voltage up. Again, I chide him. He showed no improvement. I kept increasing the voltage until I'd reached maximum safe amount as I didn't want to hurt him seriously. Only defiance met my kind restraints. That was it. If he wouldn't obey his god, he earned his fate. I adjusted the voltage to maximum and let loose the punish icon. Suddenly, the game simply stopped and said, A bunny has died. You lose. I was about to reset the game when a text changed to communicating with server. Leaderboard updated. Congratulations. You have earned the high score. As I typed in my name, I barely suppressed a chuckle. <laughs> my my dim-witted bunny with a death wish Morris was at the very bottom. He couldn't even do that right, I thought. Unusually, the game resisted my attempts to load it again. It simply returned with the message of game completed. I thought about trying to seek out the source file again and do a clean install. But it was time to experiment with something else. A few weeks passed and I moved on to new games. It was barely a memory by the time I awoke, struggling against an unknown assailant. Despite my efforts, the attacker had too much of an advantage against someone who'd been asleep just a moment prior. When I awoke again, I was in a metal-lined room with only a computer, a desk and several chews for the delivery of food and water. The slight hum of electricity could be heard behind one of the walls. Several dozen familiar names, those from the high score list, were roughly hewn into the desk. The computer was already on, with some variation of Milgram's Bunny already running. Instead of the normal controls, the layout looked more like something out of a Sims game where I could directly control the rabbit's actions. At the top of the screen were the simple instructions. If you want to live, try to be a good bunny. I... I have been a good bunny, haven't I? I've... I've never bit you once and I danced all the time. The, the only bad thing I've done is find the debug mode and use it to send you this message, but, but please... That, Please don't punish me for it. I did it when you were sleeping. You, you, you never, you never even noticed, or, or at least I, I thought you, I thought you hadn't noticed. Uh, did it make you mad? Is, is that why you won't feed me? It's been almost two days since you gave me anything to eat. Just, just tell me what I did, and I will stop. Do, do, do you not like my dancing, or? Or do you want me to dance in time with the sprites? I, I tried it once, but it seemed to have no effect. <laughs> have... Have I not let you pet me enough? Did, did... Did I not perform enough tricks? Anything, I... Anything, I swear to God, I will do anything to amuse you. Please, please just don't kill me. Please, please just don't. Please just don't, please. I don't... I don't want to... Please, I'll do anything, please. Please.